scooters everywhere. Oh, my man, Jimmy, he even got big layers up there. Evan, Chuck, a couple of heavy hitters in the NBA even getting an early look. Man, it's all happening, Junior. Now, how do you feel? I'm good. Focus. Look good, too. <laughs> you look stressed, Arch. Well, that's okay, because I'm not playing. Look, a win would be ideal, but skills matter. You know, uh, positive possessions, tempo, your demeanor in the warm-ups, your focus on, on, on in huddles. Every player is an investment. They're going to be trying to get all kinds of intel to make sure you're a good fit. <laughs> Write that down. Bigger than Broadway. The Hendricks Cobb experience is about to light this city up. Hendricks, Hendricks, have you narrowed down on any college selections? Or are you planning on jumping overseas? Hendricks, yo! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I heard we was playing, but I had to come see it with my own eyes. Yeah, it's good to see you, man. Good to see you back playing. This is where you belong, on the court. That's what's up, man. How's New Orleans, though? Oh, it's good. I'm gonna hit shoot around. All right. See you on the floor? Yep. I know that's your friend and all, but you need to stay focused. You light him up, and the world will open up for you. Alright, all right. you need to reel it in now. Nah. I'm serious. Nah, I'm serious too, man. It's just... The vein in your neck is bulging right now, man, and I'm worried about you. Ain't no vein in my neck bulging. How, how, how big is it? Look, <laughs> man, I'm just saying, you need to worry about your salt intake. I, that, that's all. See, now you're pushing it. I done played basketball before. I know what this game's about. I know how to win. As soon as that tip goes up, ain't no friends no more. Don't worry, Arch. I got it. No. This room's for players and coaches only. Out. Ah, oh, it's okay, coach. He's I me. know exactly who he is. Out! Hey, come on now, don't hold back. Tell me how you really this feel. This is funny to you? No, it's not. But it's your show, right, Henry? Yeah. What's he gonna owe you after all this? Nothing. Mm. Nothing at all, coach. Have a great game, Junior. Thanks, Sarge. It's all up to you now. Go get him. So as I was telling you, Welcome to the Barclays Center. We're here for the final game in the Battle of Brooklyn. I'm Joe Lamy. Alongside me are Drake Hugo and Danny Hogger. Great matchup in this one between Louisiana Northeast and Newark East. I sure is, Joe. Both teams have looked impressive lately, but you'd have to be a fool to think this isn't Louisiana Northeast to lose. They're led by top recruit Hendricks Cobb. This team is tops in the country. The depth and talent of the Civic Cats will be hard to match, but the Newark East Eagles are no slouches, and they played with heart all season long. They also have a surprise star in Junior that can provide matchup issues for the Civic Cats. Either way, we'll be in for a treat as the top talent in high school hoops hits the floor. The scouts will be tuned in for this one as the Battle of Brooklyn is on its way. Time now for the starting five of the Eagles. They and Sheffield get the start as the backcourt pairing. Black and Price Talent Junior are in the front court at the forward positions. They're joined by Marceda playing the center spot. Looking at the lineup for Louisiana Northeast, it's Davidson running the point with Splitter to his side. The talented pair of forwards for this team are Edwards at the three and Cobb at the four. And the big man, Mushi Fresh, gets the start at center. And without a doubt, Hendricks Cobb, the number one recruit in the nation. We're seeing him tonight. A lot of eyes will be on him during this contest. To the left side, the 11-footer, Davidson with the bucket. And I like how efficient Davidson is as a scorer, too. Goes after any opening that comes his way. Junior, left side. And a tough start to this game for Junior. Now you're right, credit him for playing, but the way he started this game shooting the ball, you have to assume the knee is an issue, and it'll continue to be an issue for him all game long. And with Cobb, the number one prospect from this class, without a doubt. He's still undecided on where he's going to school, guys. Yeah, and it's not from a lack of offers. Many major schools have reached out to him already. Cobb knows, though, he has all the power and will make his decision when he's good and ready. 
That's just deflating for the opposing team. Copping the ball up and then having it turn into immediate points at the other end. Yeah, that feels like giving up two buckets at once. And for KJ Day, a longtime figure for the Eagles. This is his last appearance for this school. And Day has been the model for everything you want from a four-year player for the Eagles. He made varsity as a sophomore and has been a huge part of the team since day one. Great career for him at York East, and I'm sure he'll keep playing somewhere at the next level. Outside, Davidson. There's the three. Junior grabs the miss. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Pass to Kennedy. Black. Kennedy outside. And here is Junior. Drains the triple. Good fundamental basketball by Kennedy. The senior working hard to involve his teammates on the play. Outside, Davidson. Junior with the steal. Fast break, here we go. And count it, two points with a chance for one more at the line. Uh, here's one for Junior's highlight reel. Going after his shot, reckless abandon, and earns an and one opportunity. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. This is the matchup everyone wants to see. Hendricks comes. versus Junior. They'll be going at each other all game long at their position. Outside, O'Gallagher. Back to 
Kawang. Sweet little floater. And this can be a difficult shot, but he pulls it off with ease. Indra up top. Great pass to set up the lay-in. And with Cobb and Junior matching up, they're familiar with one another from when Cobb grew up in the area. And that's what makes this game such a battle. You have the history between them and the fact they're both the stars for their teams. A lot of fans and scouts alike are curious about how this game goes for these two. Wang gets the bucket. An absolutely great job on the screen. He removes the defender completely out of the equation. On the wing, Junior. And Junior looking a bit winded out there. Wonder if that injury is still bothering him. On the wing, Hendricks Cobb gets the three ball to go. Confident looking triple there. Cobb knows. Scouts covet guys like this. They can sink that three ball. Down low. Stolen away by Wang. And here we go. It's Scott O'Gallagher from long range. And the Civic Cats another three. Indra with the ball. And only one injury to report for the Eagles in this one. Junior's still not at full strength. The team was hoping that Junior's knee would have been fully healed by now, but it just hasn't recovered the way they wanted. He'll be available for them, but he isn't close to 100%. He might even be on a minutes restriction. And it's good for two. And a great start to the game for them. Absolutely, they've made the most of their chances, and the offense looks very strong. On the wing, Junior. Stop the run! Count that one! He's been a huge catalyst for this offense here. Here's Cobb. Foul called that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. That's on in Zadirko. Side, O'Gallagher to the right side. Here's Edwards. Down it goes. His third basket. He's now three for four. He's really getting into a groove offensively after going scoreless in the first. Junior outside. And the Eagles another three. Confident three point bucket from Junior. You can tell he's putting in time at the arc in practice. And regardless of what happens in this game, the Eagles have to be pleased with how this season turned out. They played well above expectation and find themselves playing in a top talent invitational. And it seems like every time they get a score, it comes off a great pass. Well, Drake, they've done a great job of moving the ball around, not letting the offense get stagnant. And here's Junior outside. Teddy Edwards grabs the board. And with Newark East, the improvement is what they're most proud about, Drake. This was a defining season for the program. After having seasons where they looked lost, there's a renewed spirit for Newark East. This momentum should carry on well after the season. Junior left side. Let's it fly. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim and in. Almost four minutes gone by into the second quarter of play. Pass to Fresh to the middle. Shots good by Edwards. Their defense, it's getting torched inside. Guys, giving away way too many easy buckets. And their offense hasn't been able to answer that on the other end. Here's Lack. Here's Junior. Again, Newark East. And they encourage Junior to take that shot. If he receives the ball in space, they want him to be aggressive. Now here is O'Gallagher, guarded by Day. Pass to Fresh. For the Cats, this is more than just a road game for them. These young men are dealing with the first taste of play after traveling across the country. Yeah, that should be a big advantage for the Eagles, Joe. They'll want to do whatever they can, keep their foot on the gas pedal, and keep the tempo of this game up. Hopefully, that should even out the talent advantage the Pacific Cats have on paper. Outstanding work there, figuring out how to score on the D. You see the muscle Junior possesses. Edwards outside. Fresh. 
back to Edwards. Swings it to Splitter. Oh, Gallagher. Splitter outside. Got it off in time, but it's no good. And so it's a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Tibet and Cats ahead, up by two. And we'll return after halftime to bring you the and the second half of the Battle of Brooklyn starting up here. Great game so far between two fantastic high school squads. The Civet Cats with the lead. To the paint, Cobb. Look out! Oh, boy! No way! Wow. Cobb really gave the Civet Cats something to get excited about there. A dominant and acrobatic slam. And a kind roll off the rim on that one. I'd like to paint a picture here because his shooting chart is beautiful. Lots of good shots all around the floor. And for Junior, the interest in him from colleges has been growing all season long. There's a good chance he'll get some offers from great schools to play at the next level. Cobb and good coming off the assist by Boo Splitter. The mid-range jump shot is alive and well. Cobb is more than happy to take those jumpers. And Junior throws it down. And he isn't the biggest power forward, but his ability to rise up really evens things out. Going back to Junior and the offers from colleges, guys, it seems like a lock will get at least an invite from some major schools. And they'd be foolish not to offer him a scholarship at this point. He's proved time and time again this season that this is just the tip of the iceberg for him. Junior could be a huge player at the college level. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. The Eagles making a switch here. And he gets both of them. Second half of basketball. Just over a minute played so far. On the wing, Junior. Let's it go from deep. Sends it home from three-point land. Up and in on every one of their first three shots to start the second half. Right side, Cobb. Count it, that bucket is good. This is maybe the prettiest shot I've seen from Cobb yet. Nice, graceful floater, and he gets it to go in. Now Junior, right side. The lead pass was put just in the right spot to produce the layup. And a look at the Civic Cats bench. It's not the most talented, but the group is well-seasoned. A lot of seniors who have seen everything this program has thrown their way. Cobb, got it. Good job right there in the low post. The senior point guard, Davidson. Awesome job recognizing the overcommitment and making the defense pay. On the wing, Junior. Releases. It's hauled in by Fresh. And thinking about the Civic Cats bench, guys like Sapita, Timmerman, and Wang, not very talented, but they're experienced. I agree. Certainly they're the last guys you expect to do any real damage out on the floor, but they're really not known for their skill. But that leadership, that experience that they provide, that secures their spot on this team. Back to Splitter. The three. Good D by Junior. The Eagles trailing. Shot from the wing. And he wills that one in, right in off the back iron. Junior has been playing at the next level today. Hopefully there are some scouts in the crowd to witness it. Time called here. The Civic Cats decide to talk it over. And Coach sees something he wants to bring up to his squad. He's going to make sure that they're clear on the game plan. And at the high school level, every timeout is a teaching moment. Teams will make a substitution. Teddy Edwards, Mike Wang, 
Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Now Cobb. He's got 13 on the night. It gets things done on the floor is exemplary. It's easy to see why he's such a highly regarded recruit. Everything comes so easy for him. Just raw, natural ability combined with a great sense of the moment. There's a sense that he'll be an impact player beyond the college level someday already. Out to the wing, Benjamin Davidson for three. Outside, Black. High post, James Marceda. Here's Junior, plenty of space. By Newark East. And he's going for the oop here. This is gonna showcase for Hendricks tonight. He knows a lot of eyes are on him around the country, and he's making it crystal clear just how talented he is. Junior outside from beyond the arc, and then some. And the offense just keeps raining down. Neither team has been able to defend consistently. I would expect more of that as both defenses seem to be wearing down a bit. Pass to Cobb. That's tipped. And stolen by Junior. Plays it in off the breakaway. He's not afraid to take chances on this side of the ball. I love watching Junior anticipate when he should go for steals. Back to Davidson. Swings it to Splitter. Fresh. Here's Cobb. Good, and the assist goes to Mushi Fresh. And one of the most gifted athletes on this team is Benny Davidson. He's a tremendous leader on the floor who just moves so well with the ball in his hands. Here's Junior. Important for Junior to learn how to draw calls just like that. That kind of toughness and savvy will serve him very well going forward. He gets the first, and that brings them within five. He's perfect so far from the line. Those free throws edge them closer. Couple stops on D, and they might not be down for more. Here's Davidson. That one a little long. And with Davidson, another highly ranked recruit, he just makes everyone better out there. Yeah, and I don't know if it's just because I'm a fan, but he reminds me a lot of De'Aaron Fox with the ball in his hand, doesn't he? I mean, he's got that explosiveness to go right at players twice as high and finish with that exclamation point. Not backing away from the spotlight. In fact, Kennedy welcomes the opportunity to take critical shots. That's going to be over and back, not watching the line that time. Oh, no. Those are the kind of errors that can make or break you in a game like this. Here's Lack. Here's Junior. Can't tie it up as that one misses. And here's Cobb. And Mushi Fresh finishes it off. Well, most thought that Pacific Cats would run away with this one, but this is very much a contest. Absolutely, Joe. The Eagles have shown a lot of heart the way they've stuck with the Civic Cats. They might not have the depth or talent at the top, but this is a team that is firing on all cylinders and fighting for every chance. Here's Cobb, and there's the three-second violation. And here are the Eagles now. Four-point game. And here's Junior outside. A sensational bucket to bring him within one. He's so clutch when the pressure is at its highest. That's when he's at his very best. That is a grown man shot from Junior, dropping in a certain bucket in a high stakes situation. I'm called here. The Civic Cats decide to talk it over.
Seven second difference between the shot and game clock. High post, Hendricks Cobb. Junior's there. This is why the Cats go to Cobb in these spots. They believe in his ability to come through. And the Eagles will call time here. What's your take here, guys? Usually you want to go for the two for one here. Maximize the clock. So important. You're right about the clock management. Great opportunity, and they want to take a quality shot. And here's Junior outside. Brings it from downtown that Dave makes to provide for his team is absolutely exceptional. He works hard keeping all the Eagles involved. So it's the Cats now. Now left side Cobb. Massive bucket by Cobb to keep him in it. Louisiana Northeast's coach is smart to get the ball to his star. Outside, Day. Junior. He's still feeling it. Can't cash it in. turn right after this break. And with the way this game has gone so far, we should be in for some more excitement as we get going in overtime. So Newark East will get the first possession here. And no shortage of excitement here as we're officially underway in overtime. Guys, here's a look at Teddy Edwards, another fantastic player who is highly recruited on this Civic Cats team. Edwards has the raw power and strength to finish inside against just about anyone. He moves very well for his size and is a natural finisher at the rim. He's definitely going to make some college people extremely happy in short time. Shoot! And it's good off the back of the rim and in. Great ball movement. They're sharing the rock. And they're keeping everyone involved and engaged. Pass to Davidson. Outside, Timmerman. Fresh. Now Davidson. Guarded by Day. Here's Davidson. He didn't look comfortable taking that, even with the defense not really being a factor. Junior, outside. Shoots! And he buries that one, hitting the rim on the way down. Oh, the Eagles needed that one. And of course, Junior's the guy they look to to get it for them. Louisiana calls timeout. Extra time here, just over a minute into overtime. To the inside, and out of bounds it goes. The Eagles will take it over. Oh, that could be costly. When the game is hanging in the balance, the last thing you can afford to do is turn it over. And the Eagles will call time here.
outside, Lack. On the wing, Junior. Again, Newark East. Junior's already developing some pretty strong mechanics. You can see the potential in his stroke. The Civet Cats trailing. Overtime basketball, about one and a half minutes played. Yes, and the foul. It goes on James Marcedo. Taking over in a big moment. Love when Davidson puts it upon himself to hit these important shots. And with Cobb playing back in Brooklyn, a bit of a homecoming for him, guys. Yeah, definitely. He spent his early years playing in Newark, right down the road from his facility, actually. And at age 12, his parents moved to Louisiana, and that's really where his basketball career took off. First free throw is good, and that brings them within two here. And so he hits them both. Such a clutch performer. He loves being in those situations. A lot of guys say they do, but he truly does. Pass to Lack. On the wing, Christian Sheffield. Here's Marceda, defended by Fresh. Here's Junior. And all around the rim that time before it drops. there. Love seeing Junior take advantage of the inside. Game could be on the line right here. It's now or never for them. Cobb sinks it. What a beautiful shot to bring him within three. How's that for an ankle breaking move? His crossover is a thing of beauty. And they go to the intentional foul. <laughs> drops the first one and that gives them a four-point cushion juniors had to overcome a lot of adversity as a young man losing his father getting a late start playing basketball but there is no doubting his talent and that makes it a two possession game those could turn out to be vital free throws buries it what a beautiful shot to bring him within three doesn't get much easier than that late reaction by the d and he makes him pay Timeout called by the Eagles. Junior outside. And now we've got an intentional foul. He hits the first one, and that gives them a four point cushion. The second one is good, getting both at the line. And it's a five point game. I'm called here. The Civic Cats decide to talk it over. <laughs> Left side, Davidson. Inside. Cash it in. That's money. The D can't let Cobb get this close because when they do, he torches them for this mistake. And he commits the intentional foul. That's a smart foul, trying to keep the game alive this late. Yeah, it's not over, but they're starting to really run out of time. And he hits both free throws here. And it's a five-point game. And it's the Civic Cats with the ball. Off target from three-point range. And now they decide to intentionally foul. Good on the first. And that'll increase their lead to six. And so he goes two a two at the line. And now it's a seven-point game. This definitely was not the way that they envisioned overtime working out. Not watching the line there, and that is going to be a backcourt violation. And the Battle of Brooklyn goes to the Eagles. Fantastic end to this Invitational as Newark East gets the win in their own backyard. What an incredible performance from them. Even though they were the local team, I don't think many expected the Eagles to win this. A gritty performance from them to take down the top team in the nation.
And it's certainly a disappointment for the Civic Cats who came into this game as favorites. But they lost to a team that played with heart and put it all together right when they needed to. We saw a great game from Junior as well. And that'll do it for us here. We want to thank everyone for watching the Battle of Brooklyn. On behalf of Drake Hugo and Danny Hogger, I'm Joe Lamy. Thanks for joining us. I mean, what else can I say? Shoot, we're men down better than you would be a star. <laughs> okay, okay. I won't go that far. But you got me here. There will be others. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. Hey, man, I'm proud of you. <laughs> you too, man. Yeah, yeah. Go celebrate with your team. You deserve it. All right. Man, this is it. College. The atmosphere, the tradition, the coaching. It's nothing like it, Junior. This is a good time to get to know who you are, too. Get an education, you know? I mean, there's no money right now. But the path gets easier for you to get a bigger brand once you get into the league because of all the TV exposure. Yeah, like Zion. Exactly, like Zion. <laughs> it's not going to be easy. A few bad games gets magnified. Bad press snowballs fast in college. Yeah, but positive press snowballs too. Exactly. So you want to keep it positive. I know you made a few visits, talked to a few coaches, but the decision is yours. Where do you see yourself next year, Jimmy? <laughs> you made the right choice, Junior. Mm -hmm. Let's get you on a call with Coach. I know he's going to be thrilled. Cool. I'm going to be keeping an eye on you, you hear me? So if you think you're ready to declare for the draft, just hit me up. Uh, thanks, Archie. Moving into a bigger world now, Junior. You think you're ready? Oh, no doubt, man. Let's forget it.